TRS radars are really clever in that they can integrate directly with any of the 3D system displays. I'll go into my roto key selection menu and go to my overlay mode and simply click on the radar overlay button. Wow. Boom, automatically the radar is overlaid. If I have a heading sensor on the boat, it'll automatically line up that radar to exactly match the chart or the sat photo. In this case, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, get a little closer, just show you what it looks like as we zoom in. As I zoom out, you'll see the actual radar coverage pick up and go right in front of the boat. Now, can we see that in 3D? That's one of the great things about 3D system. Even though I'm only showing a two-dimensional radar, I can instantly press that 3D button and bring the radar up in 3D mode. So I can have a nice tight range around the boat, yet still look you know, much further ahead, almost three times further ahead, just by pressing that 3D button. No other system has that capability. If I want to get back out of it, I just simply press and hold that 3D button again, and boom, I'm back to a regular two-dimensional radar overlay image. With 3D, I can actually bring up the radar, the DRS radar information, either in a single range capability, or by pressing that display key again, I can actually bring it up in dual mode. So I'm gonna go right into it instead of having to custom configure it. Just hit that button, and I bring up my automatic dual mode radar presentation. On the left-hand side right now, I'm showing an uh, eighth of a mile scale. On the right-hand side, I'm actually showing 16 nautical miles using the same radar antenna. All the controls are completely independent. So, for example, if I scroll the cursor over right onto that right-hand side of the display, zoom in, I can actually zoom in the targets for the radar system very easily. There's an eighth, so right now the scales match. Mm -hmm. One system is in a head-up configuration, and I'm going to make this one match. I'm actually going to go into a, uh, a north-up presentation so that they actually match. And what I'll do is I'll zoom out a little bit more and just show you what it looks like at a little bit longer range. So there's the coast off Pompano Beach. If I zoom out a little bit more, you can actually see I'm actually probably picking up some ship targets out here about one and a half miles away. Are there AIS targets there? Well, the AIS targets that we showed before were down at the boat show. So if I zoom, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see I can actually overlay the AIS targets, not just over the chart, but over the radar as well, and still pick up exactly the same information. So if I'm curious about a, a target, I can, if I'm navigating, and I say, hey, you know, where is that boat going? Is it, a, is it a danger to me or is it something I'm interested in? I just scroll the cursor over, click on it. The target will enlarge and automatically information will appear. Again, if I want more detailed information about that AIS target, I just click on it and the detailed information automatically appears. The other, the other capability within the 3D system using the DRS sensors, the DRS radar sensors, is that each one of these DRS sensors has a built-in 30 target ARPA. And with an automatic radar plotting aid, I can uh, set 3D to actually automatically pick up targets that are around me, or I can go out and manually acquire them. Once I do that, it'll act just like an AIS. It'll actually track that target using the internal processor of the system and show me all the same kinds of information like CPA, closest point of approach, and TCPA, time to closest point of approach really crucial for navigation situations, especially with cruising boats. God, and I could see if you were out sword fishing at night and wanted to keep track of all the other boats in your area. It's really important. Uh, Say I'm in, you know, even if I'm, in a, I'm in an SKA tournament, I want to know what everybody around me is doing. I can set the system up to automatically acquire all the boats around me and I'll just watch their arrows graphically and see what they're doing, whether they're on a fish, whether they're just still marking fish, or whether they're just coasting, cruising, drifting. There's nowhere to hide anymore. There's nowhere to hide.